This is pretty amazing looking. It looks like a little mini helicopter. What are we looking at? Here? Yeah, what you're looking at is our Sparrow drone. This is our compliant uh, UAV. And it's also a AD lifting drone. Uh, it's big. It's, it scales at about uh, three and a half feet square. So how much weight can this carry? This does about 10 pounds for about uh, 20 kilometers. This particular drone is carrying a very special package. Very unique, yes. What do we got? Yeah, so we actually partnered with uh, Peel Region and what you have inside here is an AED. So the person on scene would essentially open up the drone and pull out the AED and uh, administer uh, first aid. And so this is arriving, you hope, before an ambulance would? This should arrive at least 70 to 80 percent faster than an ambulance does. The pilot project between Drone Delivery Canada and Peel Paramedics is part of a research project that involves the University of Toronto, St. Michael's Hospital and the Canadian Resuscitation Outcomes Consortium. The hope is that having automated external defibrillators delivered by drones will increase the chances of surviving cardiac arrest. Every minute of time decreases survival by 7 to 10 percent, so it's a time critical emergency. And we looked at placing drones in a variety of regions across Ontario and we found that if we in fact launch drones, we can in fact decrease response time at urban centres by almost six minutes, decrease response time in rural centres by over ten minutes. That's a huge saving when every minute counts. But it's a huge logistic undertaking. For this pilot project, drones will be placed at selected locations across Caledon. At first, they will be responding to simulated calls. This is air traffic. This is air traffic. The blue lines are all uh, existing air traffic in the sky. And uh, mission control monitors and manages the environment in real time. And so that makes it safe for the drone to fly to wherever the emergency may be. Correct. We've done a tremendous amount of testing. Uh, both, both in Ontario, uh, in urban, uh, rural, and very remote parts of Canada in different types of climate, and we're ready to commercialize the solution today. Ambulances will still be dispatched? For sure. We're, we're not displacing the traditional uh, systems. This is just augmenting the solution to enhance it. Well, this pilot project is set to begin in May. It'll run throughout the summer, and then the results will be analyzed to see if this is something that could be implemented permanently and in other regions. In Vaughan, Audra Brown, City News.